Hello and welcome to an interesting style of walkthrough video for Resident Evil 2 Ghost Survivors The No Way Out Scenario. This video will give you some commentary, tips and tricks, some enemy patterns, what is in each backpack, and some other things that will hopefully help you beat this scenario. I called it an interesting style of walkthrough because towards the end of the game things go out of control and it's all about survival, knowing the game, and there's not a clear cut way to do it. We'll actually show you the full playthrough that was used to unlock the cat ears, a special accessory that gives all characters infinite ammo in the DLC that can only be unlocked by beating the No Way Out scenario using 60 or less handgun bullets. If you're just trying to get through the scenario and not unlock anything, this should really be helpful as you'll have access to unlimited handgun plus the strategies used here. This is gonna be complicated, so let's get started. The game starts with four zombies coming in the front door. They usually come in two at a time. A couple of shots will take them out. Reload after the first two go down and then the next two should come in. Sometimes it's random and they get stuck outside and the door closes, it's kind of annoying. Sometimes they'll run to the right or the left, but basically these guys are low hit points and just make sure you don't get hit. After you take out the four, you run to this corner here and now we're gonna stand here and just aim right at the heads and take out these guys. If you line up your shot correctly and you miss, you might hit the guys behind because their heads all line up. So that's a good spot to get right in the center of the first backpack has a green herb, a blue herb, and a flash grenade. And take out those three guys, including the guy with our first backpack, which we'll pick up in a minute. And once those three are dead, we're going to face this door, and there's one more guy inside. At this point, two zombies might be coming at you from the right, so if that door doesn't open right away, keep looking to the right. Take him down with three shots, and now two more guys, number nine and ten here, old man and red pac-man and basically what you're gonna do is shoot red pac-man in the head or the leg or somewhere where it's not gonna hit the pack so the pack will fall on the ground and you can strategically place them it's hard to do I placed this one here and actually it's just gonna randomly help us out later once those two are done we're gonna aim right back at this door again we're gonna take out both zombies that come out. And once again, you've got some guys coming at you from the right. So make sure you do it quickly or get away. And the next two guys are this security guy with no pants and another old man with a backpack. Basically take them out. But while you're taking them out, if you take too long, two more will pop out the back door. The backpack guy here, you want to take him out early if you want the spark shot, and the spark shot can kill those armored guys a lot quicker, but I like to save it for later. So I used handgun bullets to take them down. The next zombie's gonna pop in the front door, another armored guy. Basically I lured them all over to that one side so I could just kind of sit there and pick them off slowly with headshots. And if you want to see how many bullets you fired, you have to pause the game, go to records for ghost survivors, and then press up and go to the second to last one called Gunslinger, and that will show you your current amount of bullets fired. As you can see here, I wasted a lot of bullets, missed a lot, and ran out. Do not run out. Try to keep around 54 bullets in your handgun just in case. So once you get the 54, stop using it. And once you get the 60, discard it right away. Next, a red pack guy is gonna come in the front door and a backpack is gonna come out the back. This guy has the shotgun and that's gonna be pretty important. Right now, we're gonna take out the red guy using the spark shot. If you don't hit the pack, it won't blow up. So you can use the spark shot to knock it off of him and kill him at the same time. We're just going to use the spark shot to clear out the rest of the zombies. There are two left, and once we get to 20, the game will pause. So using the spark shot is very good as long as there's not enemies near you. And it's really great against the armored guys. Once you hit 20, 
you'll get a little bit of a break if you need to collect any backpacks or anything and we're gonna go back to our favorite spot by this back door and the next people that come out are poison if you use a spark shot stay away if you do a headshot with a shotgun stay back if you're close to them you'll get poisoned you really want the blue herb not to cure poison but to give you armor when mixed together so do not get poisoned really do not get poisoned there are three guys in that door that come out at the same time and then a fourth poison guy will come out as the same time the fourth poison guy is coming out of that door to the right you're gonna have three guys a guy with a poison face a guy with a regular face and a guy with a backpack this one has the mq11 mini uzi inside take out these guys with the spark shot or headshots with the shotgun and remember to keep some handgun bullets for later because there's a part at the end here where we're gonna need at least two bullets in worst case scenario so now that we're out of everything we're gonna now use this Uzi and the important thing is to conserve so stay far away do not hold down the button try to do single bullets if you can or singles or doubles stay away from the poison guys so that their poison don't hit you and just slowly take out the zombies number 28 number 29 and 30 or however many are left if there's a bunch of purple guys left and you're out of spark shot and they're all crowding together it's gonna be dangerous you might have to use that full health in this situation try your hardest not to we could have used that pack on the ground to maybe blow them up or something like that and then once you get down to 30 the game will pause for a few seconds and give you a chance to regroup. This is the final horde before things go absolutely crazy. And you are going to have to shoot two red packs if you've run out of ammo. So you really can't technically run out of ammo. You have to have two bullets left and you may as well have more. So it starts out with a backpack guy and two of his friends come in the back door and then a red pack guy comes in the front door with three of his friends and anyway there's about eight zombies out here right now and it's crazy. So what I'm doing right now is I'm luring them all into this corner and strategically getting hit here so that it'll even crowd them in even more so that I can run past them and actually use the red pack we knocked on the ground before to take them all out. There's also a red pack guy in that crowd, so you could have used his pack too. It's harder to do so. It's kind of hard to hit him when everybody's attacking you as well. The backpack guy in that crowd had a red, a green, and a flash, and at this point you should have a blue from the beginning, so you should have a red, green, and blue. You should be able to have two full healths. I think I used one already, but the full health is important because it gives you armor and stops poison. At this point, your game might not be quite as easy looking because I took out a bunch with that bomb, but the final two that are going to mix in are this red guy with the pack and then a crazy white guy in the back door and you have to kill all 40 enemies or the game won't continue. So if you've run out of ammo, you have to restart. That's where using the pack and one bullet to take out both or multiple guys is gonna be really crucial. To start the next horde, you have one goal, and that's to get the backpack off of the guy coming in the front door. If you have a couple handguns left, you can shoot him in the head and knock it off. If you have no weapons left, run into him, get hit on purpose, and he will drop the backpack. Don't use a flashbang. Just get hit, he'll drop it, and then pick up the backpack. Do not get hit. Inside is the flamethrower, and starting now, no more handgun, only backpack weapons. This horde has two armor guys that come in the front door and that police officer. If you don't kill any of the three, nothing happens. Once you kill one of them, two more armored guys are going to come in the back door and things are going to start to get crazy. So that's why I can walk around here. I was actually testing that out. I was hoping the guys would pop in that back door so I could get them all with that red tank. But unless you take out one of the three, they will not continue to spawn. And... You'll see here in a minute, um, 
basically with the flamethrower, you shoot the ground, kind of catch the ground on fire and shoot up and down. And that's the reason the guys didn't spawn. That guy was actually alive. I thought he might have been dead. And now two guys come out the back, and now we are in trouble. We got armored guys all over the place, and I don't know what to do. So basically, use the flamethrower and try to group them all together so that you're hitting multiple enemies with these flames. So I kind of lowered them all into that corner there, and I just kind of... I don't hold it down because you don't want to waste too much, and I kind of puff at it. And in that crowd, there's going to be another guy with a backpack, and he has a rocket. And the rocket is going to be used as a last-ditch effort. If you can save the rocket as long as possible, you're going to have a better chance to complete it. And it's really hard to keep the rocket the whole time, but if you got that at the end, you're pretty much golden. So the 40 to 50 horde is armored zombies mixed with these poisons, and they come in pairs of two from opposite sides. And as you can see, you just constantly get trapped and trapped and trapped. Uh, we do have a little pack on the ground that we dropped earlier. And anytime you have those, try to save them as long as possible because it's important to use them towards the end. And I just kind of got all the guys to one side if I could. And then if you get hit, a bunch of guys will crowd you so you can kind of quick turn and use flamethrower. And I really wanted to take out all these guys using only the flamethrower because the next part is even harder. And here you can see the importance of not just using a blue herb by itself and using a triple mix. I've got this armor, so it's not taking as much damage, and then I'm not getting poisoned from those guys. And from 40 to 50, that's a good time to use that full one. And right here I ran out of flamethrower, but something we may have missed is there's actually another backpack. It blew up when we took out that red tank, and inside is another spark shot. Thank goodness, that gives us the ability to take down seven enemies. We could have grabbed it earlier and possibly not taken so much damage. There are only a couple enemies left, and we don't want to use the rocket, so we're going to take them out with the spark shot. And I like having at least four spark shots remaining when I get to the end of number four or the beginning of 50 because there are a bunch of white dudes that are going to spawn. I think they're called pale heads and they're annoying. So let's take out the last two. You can kind of calm down and relax when there's only two left. Again, it resets when you get to 50. And at 50, as it doesn't give you a big pause. The first guy comes in the front door. I take him out with the spark shot. I do a turn. A second guy's going to come in that door. I spark shot him. And hopefully that girl's not getting you. Watch out, there's a guy on the right. There's a guy on the right. And then fl spin around and then take out the tank to take out the other dude. And I wasted a spark shot there and got hit. Now that tank really saved us. And that flash grenade actually saved us completely. We would have been dead with that stun lock thing. So using the last triple health of the game, that'll give us some good armor and poison protection. Make sure you save your ammo for the zombies with backpacks. Backpacks are the most important thing at this point in the game. This guy has a upgraded shotgun with eight bullets and a green herb and a blue herb. Using the spark shot was risky, but I got it off just in time. If you get hit while you're hitting them and it doesn't complete, you lose it and it's annoying. There was a flashbang that went off there, so these guys are stunned. So I calmed down, I took a deep breath, and it, instead of panicking, I pulled out the shotgun because those white guys, you can kill them with a shotgun blast to the head. Sometimes it takes two to the head. If they fall, they're usually dead. And then I just tried to escape there as best that I could. And now we're in what I like to call a panic situation. There's purple guys everywhere. We're flipping out. Calm down, take a deep breath. That's the number one thing. Just calm down and try to just get everybody into one section. Now they're all on one side of the place, which is great. And now I can kind of slowly take them out one by one. You want to maximize each weapon. So every shotgun blast should take out a zombie's head. And if you miss, it kind of sucks because ammo is limited. 
And basically right here, I don't want to shoot the poison guys, even though I have protection. That's what I always forget. Now I remember. Oh wait, you already have protection from using the full health. Now you can get in close. It's okay. So one of the reasons I'm not firing here is because there are backpack guys running around. And we need to take out the backpack guys with our weapons to get more weapons. And it's very important to not waste it on just regular guys. And right here, we just, we're just we in an emergency situation. Bottom of the ninth, base is loaded. We got to do something to win this game. So we are going to fire a rocket into the crowd after attempting a shotgun. And there's actually nine zombies in that aisle. So that rocket was super efficient. It took out nine. I would have liked to save it for later, but we had to use it then. And now we get to pick up the items in the backpack, which is going to give us a flamethrower, as well as an Uzi that's really going to take us to the next level. So now we're on 70. At 70, paleheads are going to start coming out of every corner, and it's just going to be a mix of zombies. You can see that guy coming in the front. In the back, we've got this red case, so let's take advantage of it. If you get hit, remember, it's strategic, and he drops it, so now it's in a good spot. We can take out one of those white dudes, and those are going to be the hardest to kill, so that's what we want to use those explosives on if we can. Now, the, any semblance of a walkthrough is bas basically dead right now. We are just fighting for survival. There are guys everywhere. There's armored guys. There's poison guys. There's pale heads. There's another backpack. And this one has a green herb, which can get us out of danger. It also has another Uzi and a blue. And once you see that backpack, you know one thing. You've got to get that backpack. And that's why I just started flaming right into that spot. It was dangerous, I had to do it because we need that backpack and it looks like we're out of health. So the rocket is our last chance to get there. I lure the people as close as possible and right before they hit me, I just fire straight into the ground. It seems to do a good job of defense. And now we are gonna be out of danger, which is good. And we're gonna have two Uzis, which we're gonna use to take down some enemies here in a minute. And now pale heads are gonna start spawning in different areas, kind of like one by one, maybe two at a time, but slow. And you can take them down with the Uzis and just go from door to door and just check each door to see if there's another one spawning and take your time. And here is the key. You need ammo here because you have to get to 86 for the game to continue. If you're at 84 and you run out of ammo and you can't kill one of those guys that's running around, the game will just, I mean, you'll just run in circles forever. Nobody will ever pop in a door again. So you've got to get to 86. Make sure you do not miss with the Uzis. Make sure you have ammo and make sure you kill them. And then remember, once you get to 86, which is gonna happen here when one of these guys die, a bunch of zombies are gonna start spawning in and you're gonna be low on ammo. There are two backpacks remaining. They are essential to completing this and you really need them. So take out all of the pale heads and now that the pale heads are gone, well it looks like one's still alive, I'm kind of just running in circles like praying for a backpack. <laughs> And when I see the pale head, I decide to take him out because I think he might be the key to the backpacks. So just running, 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 dodging, avoiding. Now remember, the backpack guys, you don't have to shoot them, so you don't need ammo to shoot them, but you need to make sure that they actually spawn. So you might have to take out some people, and thank goodness, this second to last one is a red and a green and mixed with a blue it's gonna give you full health it's gonna give you armor and I knew it was gonna give me full health so instead of wasting precious ammo I let the guy hit me so he would drop the backpack and I could combine it all together and now for the grand finale we have full health we've got armor and we've got 10 to go there's gonna be a few of these red pack guys you saw me just shoot one there which was great, so we took out a couple enemies with that. 
There's going to be another red pack guy right there, so I'm trying to lure the enemies over. Remember, lure them, lure them, lure them. Come on, enemies. Come on, all you crazy enemies. And like I said, we're getting hit here just so we can kind of hopefully bring that red pack guy over here. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, my gosh. And then the final backpack right there. This one has a seven shot spark shot and it has enough to destroy every enemy remaining. So we care about this more than anything. And then that's why I get hit by this red guy and then just wait, 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 boom. Take out as many as we can, but important, take out the backpack, pick up the spark shot. Do not get hit, there's only three guys left. And now just calm down. Take a deep breath. If you've got a pale head running around, take him out first if you can, because he will catch up to you. These guys are slow and they won't catch up if you're far enough apart. And now I'm basically in a panic right now, and you'll see me miss a few shots, which is crazy. But there's only two. Now there's one. Stay away just in case. The poison probably can't kill you, but I don't know. And take out the final enemies with the spark shot. And rejoice, you have done it. Now, if you've done it with 60 or less bullets, you get those cat ears. If you've done it just to do it, you can say you've done this challenging mode because it's challenging nonetheless. And good lord, that was a crazy video. It was not like a normal walkthrough. It was just like an all-out panic and explaining some things. Hopefully, the beginning tips helped you, and then a few tips in the middle I think I threw in there that... Uh, that I kind of learned along the way and good goodness hopefully you guys have completed it so thank you for watching and I hope to never ever ever do a walkthrough video like this again thank you for watching this video was kind of an experiment so if you liked it or hated it let me know in the comments and let me know if it helped you and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.